So this decision by the central government comes after states spoke out seeking sweeping flight bans to stop the Omicron spread. The Maharashtra government has been saying that uh, all flights from at-risk nations must be grounded immediately. So far, it's also issued very strict guidelines for travelers from hotspot countries, which include mandatory seven-day institutional quarantine, RT-PCR tests on the second, fourth and seventh day from arrival, hospitalization of all positive flyers, seven-day home quarantine for those who've tested negative as well. Passengers from other countries, not the ones that have been identified as at risk, will have to undergo compulsory RT-PCR tests at the airport. While all positive flyers will be hospitalized, others will have to undergo 14-day home quarantine. For intrastate flyers, full vaccination or an RT-PCR test report within 48 hours is a must. For interstate flyers, however, irrespective of vaccination, a negative RT-PCR report is a must and this test should have been conducted in a matter of 48 hours. The Delhi government has sought a ban on all international flights. It's also implemented guidelines issued by the centre, including a negative RT-PCR report before departure from the actress country and a second test on arrival in India. Genome sequencing, of course, is the norm now for all positive cases. A mandatory seven-day quarantine for all flyers is in place and a third test for symptoms after seven days. Now, after arriving in Delhi, boarding passes of the passengers are being stamped with a message saying self-monitoring of health for 10 days. And Chaiti Narula now breaks down for you all the guidelines that have been put in place for travellers from at-risk nations in Delhi. Many of you are confused right now in terms of what the guidelines really look like. Let's simplify that. We've got you covered. So here's the good news that we've got you all the guidelines as they stand at the moment. So if you're coming to Delhi uh, from a high-risk nation, then there is going to be a testing on arrival at the IGI airport in Delhi. If you're negative, there's going to be quarantine and retest after seven days. And if negative again, self-monitor for seven more days. We don't know the nature of this virus and hence uh, it's a little complicated this time around. If you're found positive, Quarantine at a designated hospital. So this is going to be institutional in nature. The sample is also going to be test for genome sequencing if you are found to be positive for COVID. Those below five, that is five years old, the kids are exempted from the testing. But the symptomatic children are going to be tested. So if you're landing into Delhi, these are the guidelines that you need to follow. So the new travel guidelines issued by the centre has come into effect today. Let's get you some ground reports from the Delhi and Mumbai airports. International travel once again is set to become longer. And the reason is because the government has now made a list of at-risk countries, which includes the United Kingdom. All those people who are arriving, say, at the Delhi airport from these at-risk countries, they will have to get the mandatory RT-PCR test done. Now, there's a separate room in the airport which has been made where all the passengers coming or will be asked to sit. The test will be done and they'll have to wait till the time the result does not come. Now, typically, the, re the result takes anywhere between five to six hours, which means that your flight uh, will take it longer. It will take you longer to come out of the airport. Now, once the test results are out, it could either be negative or positive. If the result is positive, then you will be isolated and your sequence, uh, your test, your sample will then be sent for the genome sequencing. In case the result is, neg is negative, then you will be asked to leave, but the state officials will make sure that they do a retest on the eighth day and you will be asked to do a home quarantine for seven days. This basically means that the number of hours which you will be spending between the flight and at the airport will increase drastically. Say, for example, if you are coming from the United Kingdom and you take a direct flight, which is roughly nine hours, then you will have to spend additional six hours sitting at the airport waiting for the test result. Now the government thinks this is one of the safest and the surest way of making sure that the new COVID variant does not spread in the country. This is Shwara Paliwal reporting for India Today with camera person Ashwini Helen. Public 
उतरे तो उसके बाद क्या क्या हुआ पूरा तो कोई गाइडेंस नहीं थी हमको कि आपको पीसीआर टेस्ट कराना है और नहीं तो हम हम लोग पहले ऑनलाइन बुक करा के आते हैं उसके बाद दो टेस्ट हैं यहाँ पे एक है नॉर्मल टेस्ट और एक है रैपिड फायर नॉर्मल टेस्ट लाइक वो ले रहे हैं आठ घंटे और जो रैपिड फायर है वो एक घंटा बोल रहे हैं बट एक घंटे में किसी को रिपोर्ट दी नहीं तो हम लोग काफी लोग परेशान हो रहे हैं कि बच्चों के साथ छोटे छोटे बच्चे वेट नहीं कर पा रहे बस खाने को कुछ नहीं है Mumbai Airport right now, and this is where the entire precautions that have been put in by the Mumbai International Airport can be really seen. Wherein uh, you know people who are coming in from the high-risk countries like uh, UK, like New Zealand, all these people are being segregated. They are being uh, from the uh, from the people who are travelling from non-risk countries. Uh, right here, there for the people who are travelling from high-risk countries, there uh, you know they have added precautions like they have been asked to take care, uh, you know, uh, not to really mingle with others. Also, he uh, heavy testing. Uh, you know, there are more than 40, 50 booths that have been put up where RT-PCR tests will are being done. Apart from that, uh, there's a wa waiting lounge for people to wait in where uh, you know the, uh, if the testing really takes a while, they'll be asked to wait. Also, for people who have connecting flights, uh, try, you know, if they are in transit, then for them also antigen tests have been put in place. So, uh, heavy testing right here at the airport itself is being done to make sure that the spread of Omicron strain that has really now uh, been a uh, uh, issue of concern right now does not really spread further. With cameraman Vijay Desai in Mumbai, Vidya for India today.